Trish Jenner and today I'm doing the 100 characters book tag. This tag was created by Molly the Reader over on her blog which I will leave linked in the description box below. It contains a number of questions that I didn't actually count out all relating to a certain character from the 100 series. Now because she loves the show but hasn't read the books these characters are actually going to be relating to the show not the books which is okay so there's a bunch of characters in here that are mainly just from the show so if you've only read the books and you don't understand where these characters have come from that is why so I highly recommend that you watch the show other than that we're just gonna get started so question number one Clark Griffin a character that is always losing loved ones for this one I'm going with an oldie but goodie Harry Potter from the Harry Potter series I feel like Harry is literally always losing his loved ones I mean this series literally starts with him losing his you know parents and then he loses more father figures and family figures along the way and also loses some very close friends as well so yeah I feel like he is constantly losing loved ones which is devastating but the fact that he can stand up and continue to go just is a testament to how amazing he is and god I love him so much and what were we talking about again? Question number two Bellamy Blake a cute fictional character that can be kind of an arsehole sometimes. This one I had to go with Jace Wayland from the Mortal Instruments series I feel like he is such a douche sometimes he's like amazing and I love him but sometimes he's just so stupid and he just does really stupid things and says really stupid things and it's like dude just stop and for that reason I sometimes hate him while I'm reading these books because I just find him so frustrating but he's really cute and I can't get past that so definitely a Bellamy Blake. Question number three, Octavia Blake, a strong independent lead character. Tommy Grayson from the Who's Afraid series by Marie Lewis. Tommy goes through a really traumatic experience in the beginning of this book and then she persists and she conquers that really traumatic experience and she's able to move past it and she's able to really come to terms with it and I just love her. I think she's such a strong protagonist in that way that people can really look up to her for getting through such a hard time and she's also just an incredible kick-ass independent character anyway so I completely love her. Question number four, John Murphy, an underrated side character who is full of sarcasm. I'm going with Trumkin the Dwarf from the Prince Caspian book in the Chronicles of Narnia. I have to say though, a little bit of a disclaimer, I have not read these books in a really long time and I am kind of think that the movie's twisting me a little bit because obviously Trumkin in the film is ridiculously sarcastic, but I'm like 80% sure that he's really sarcastic in the books as well, so I felt really safe going with him as this question. Basically, Trumkin is a little dwarf that the Pevensey children meet in the Prince Caspian book where he doesn't believe in Aslan, he doesn't believe in any of that stuff and they kind of have to change his mind but he's so sarcastic about it and he's amazing and I love him so much so I just oh, I love Trumpkin but I feel like more people don't really talk about him because people only really when they talk about Chronicles of Narnia they really only talk about Lion Witch in the Wardrobe and I'm sorry there are like six other books that are amazing Prince Caspian is another one that's really big because it was made into the movie so just like go and read the books and you'll fall in love with Trumpkin just the way I did. Question number five Jasper Jordan, a hero that is always heartbroken. I have to go with Connor from A Monster Calls for this one. Connor spends this entire book just being completely heartbroken by what is happening to his mother, also what is happening in his family and his life and I just, I couldn't help but cry the entire way through this book. It's so sad. He is so heartbroken but he's also just so strong and just keeps pushing through and I think that is just amazing and incredible and I love him so ridiculously much. Question number six, Raven Reyes, a diverse character that deserves more love. Graham from In Victus by Ryan Gordon. Graham is a person of colour and he is so amazing and I love him but he's not talked about a whole heap in this book and I haven't heard a lot of people talking about him when they talk about this book at all but I love him. I really enjoyed his character. I thought he was so much fun. He was just really cute and adorable and I just wanted to like hug him so much so I absolutely love Graham and I wish that more people did too. Question number seven, Finn Collins aka Spacewalker. A character from space. This one I'm going with Four from the I Am Number Four series, also known as the Lorian Legacy series. So Four is an alien who comes to Earth after his alien planet is invaded and most of his race are killed by the Mogadorians. He comes to Earth to hide from them and from their mysterious awful things happen. So he is of course an alien which qualifies as coming from space and he is an alien that I actually really love. I had another person in mind but I hated them so much that I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So four it is. Although I have to say I've never finished this series. I have every intention of finishing this series because it's a really good series. I just kind of never got around to it. Question number eight, Head Alexa, a character that is made to be a leader. I'm gonna say Thomas from the Maze Runner trilogy. I'm not, you know, you all know me. I'm not like the biggest fan of the Maze Runner trilogy, but I have to say Thomas is definitely a born leader, especially after having read Fever Code and reading everything that kind of happened in there and figuring out why he does what he does in this book. I have a bigger appreciation for Thomas and I do think that he was made to be a leader. He definitely corrals these boys and gets them to do exactly what he needs them to do 
do in order for them all to survive. So for that reason, I think he is definitely made to be a leader. Question number nine, Monty Green, a character that is good with technology. I'm gonna say Katie from the Illuminale Files by Jay Christoph and Amy Kaufman. Katie is kind of a badass when it comes to computers. She spends this entire book just hacking into things, trying to figure out what is going wrong, why the ships have got, uh, this has been a really long time since I've read this book, like almost a year. So I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering what's going on. But I do remember her just really being able to hack into everything and she hacks into Aiden, I'm pretty sure, and it's just so good and I love her for it. And her technological skills are like a thousand times better than mine. I think someone's knocking at the front door, which is weird because it's raining and they shouldn't be. Now I'm just hearing creepy sounds everywhere. <laughs> Read this book. Question number 10, Abigail Griffin, a character that is a healer. Now the only character I could think of for this one was actually Primrose from the Hunger Games trilogy, which is the character that Molly chose, so I didn't want to go with the same character. So the only other healer I was able to find on my shelf at short notice was actually Clark from The 100. So in the books, she is the camp's healer, kind of like she is in the show, but in the book she is like just the healer and she heals a lot of people and she saves a lot of them. So I went with Clark for this one. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below your answers to any of these questions. I would absolutely love to know. I'm not going to tag anybody because Molly did this tag like ages ago and I hate tagging people. And also I'm not really sure who has and hasn't seen the show because you kind of do sort of need to have seen the show to kind of get a feel for these characters. But if you've seen the show and you love it and you haven't done this tag yet, then consider yourself tagged. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.